hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off so I don't seem like a like a D bag, you know what I mean? Um, okay, even though they do help with the sun because I have sensitive eyes, believe it or not. Um, today's February 25th, 2024. Uh, it's one of my best friend's birthdays today. I, uh, I, uh, I love my friend very much, so shout out to them if they're watching in any capacity. Um, just a great person all around. And I could go on to talk about what makes them a great person, but I don't know. I don't really know what there is to talk about today. I think today's going to be more of an old-fashioned journal, which means that, in theory, it should be a shorter jour journal than normal, but... In practice, it'll probably be a longer one than normal because I ramble when there's no guidelines. Um, last night, I started working on a book idea that I've had for a little bit, um, right? And I, I kind of am dealing with uh, this thought of, like, how could I be so arrogant that I think I could write a book? But I... Do I, do I, do I myself deserve to hear that kind of talk for myself? No, I don't think so. Um, it's just stupid. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I, I think you see where I'm coming from. The basic premise of the book is, it's sort of modeled off of my life. And, uh, you know, it's a mundane Tuesday. The character's not very happy. Um, oh, what are you gonna do? You doing it? They're doing it. Uh, that actually reminds me. I, I do have something I'd like to talk about. Um, I lost my train of thought, but the, yeah, the character's not very happy with life, it's a t mundane Tuesday, and they get through about half their day, and they decide, you know, it's time for lunch, it's time to refuel the body, type of stuff, and, um, they stop off at a convenience store, they're just gonna get, like, some snacks and a drink, much like I do sometimes, and upon entering the store, they are, I guess, teleported, for lack of a better word, to this dimension of just whiteness. Like, that's all there is. And at first, they start panicking. And then they come to the conclusion that they've died. And it's right about this time that uh, they are teleported back out to the entrance of the convenience store where they had just left off on Earth. And I don't know how exactly it's going to go down yet, but I don't want there to be a lot of, like, hesitation about the character deciding to go back into the store. And that's how the book ends, is the character decides to go into the store. Um, you know, some, so, some sort of existentialist themes going on there, I suppose. Um, we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, let me let me talk about let me talk about what I what I had thought about talking about before because this is an aspect of my life what I'm doing right now, driving. This is an aspect of my life that I really do not enjoy. Um I I like cars somewhat, but I think cars are also separate from driving like I mean, what, what do you do with a car? You drive it. But you get what I mean. Like, I don't know. I like cars from, like, a fundamental standpoint. Like, I like to look at them and, like, things like this. I'm getting beyond, beyond what I need to be talking about. Um, every single day, just about, just about. Instead of saying every single day, I'll say 95% of the time, I take a very similar drive to school, work, or my girlfriend's house. They're all within the same vicinity. 
and uh, this drive, I don't go on any major highways, but I go on a, I guess it's a highway, but it's not an interstate, so it's not like a five lane freak show, right, where the, uh, the speed limit's 70, you know, whatever. Uh, right now I'm on back roads, but in a few minutes I'll get onto the highway. I'm not sure what the right terminology is that I stay on for like the next 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm just tired of driving. Like, it is so, it is so just disorienting to me how we've come to decide that this is the best way to go about transportation and it's just crazy it is nuts um yeah hey, not, not only do we risk our lives every time we step out and to start driving our car which you know objection don't you risk your life anytime you do anything sure why not but you know right now i'm driving at 50 miles per hour if i were to get into a car crash that was anyway a little more violent I, I could get seriously injured and then you know on top of that these things cost thousands of dollars it's not like we've made them affordable if we had made cars affordable and like more affordable than they are now you know what I'm saying if we had made them affordable in that way like I don't know it's probably very cheap to construct your own buggy and it's not cheap to get horses but you you get the picture I'm, I'm not very prepared to talk about this I wanted to be more prepared so maybe I will leave it for another time but yeah I, I, instead of instead of going full fully for it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tease it just give you guys some, some things to think about before I actually make that video um, I don't know let me know what you think driving can be fun don't get me wrong it's just thinking about what we had or what we could have it gets me upset and I'll leave it at that um, I work all day today so you know I had a slow morning just trying to conserve my energy I you know Am I being lazy? Is that justifying me being lazy? Maybe in some regard. Um, but I, I, uh, I just kind of needed it. Some people come at me in the comments for talking pretty slow. And um, I don't know. I guess that has gotten to me a little bit. I don't, I don't appreciate those things. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut down the filler. I'm trying to think about things as they happen. So this is a very incoherent, uh, non-thematic journal, but. I hope you guys have had a good weekend. I've had a good weekend. And I, uh, I'll cap it off with, it's 9.30 now and I'll be getting home around 9.30 tonight. So I think you get the idea of what my day holds. I'm hoping it's not too toxic. Last Sunday, my work was absolutely toxic. Um, I don't know if you've ever worked in the food service industry but if you have you know that it can get cancerous real fast sorry to use that word in that way but I, at some point there's no other way to describe it but the people that I work with today I enjoy so hopefully that carries me through in some ways uh, the store that I work at is changing in a lot of ways and that's interesting because we are we are like we are owned by a single person. I don't work for like a corporation, 
but I also kind of do it at the same time. It's a chain. And my, uh, the owner of my store, uh, I probably shouldn't even get into it for legal reasons, just because I'm rocking the branding right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll save his, I'll save his, oh, now I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope you have a good Sunday. If there's anything that uh, I said that you'd like to talk to me about, just leave a comment. I get back to just about every single comment unless it's wildly incoherent or it's just too mean for me to even like regard or it's a combination of both so unless you're gonna leave one of those types feel free to comment and share all that stuff it helps me out and uh, it helps me out with the algorithm that I so heavily heavily dislike peace and love